All right, we got driver Todd Warren here, driver and owner of number two, Furious Five, your three to two favorite. Todd, second start off the layoff. Was the plan the whole time to get her to the front? Uh, if fractions uh, were right, I'd like to have her on the front. But uh, if Mike would have wanted to stay on the front and it was going to go a reasonable pace, I, you know, well, as soon as she started grabbing on, I had to remove her to the front. Todd, she came home in 27 in a piece. Did you know if she got a breather tonight early, she'd be good? Uh, you know, she hasn't been really good. Uh, I gave her that time off because she was bleeding this winter, and I qualified her, give her an easy start. And she felt tonight better than she's ever felt. And she's a classy mare. I mean, she's got a half a million dollars made, and uh, that's her old self right there. So. Any, uh, any room for improvement next start? Well, you know, I just hope she continues to finish that strong. I mean, that's the way she was before. And as long as she stays relaxed and I can control her, I mean, she should win right back. All right. Thanks, Todd. For driver Todd Warren, this is Jeremy Day for the Illinois Harness Horseman Association live in Maywood Park. Send it back up to you, Joe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Seventh race up next. No changes. Field of eight. All right, we got driver trainer here, Kyle Husted, driver of number one, Prosper, the one to two favorite. Kyle, it looked like you were trying everything to make up ground. Uh, pretty unfortunate to get b caught behind a horse who couldn't keep up. Yeah, um, Johnny and Casey both left out of there. You know, they're pretty long shots, and, and Johnny's horse actually got off the gate a lot better than I thought she would. And him and Josh kind of went at it, and then Casey left, and he kept up for about four pylons, and I just got stuck behind him. Were, were you planning on racing her from off the pace or quarter moving if possible, just a pending? Yeah, I never thought we'd be to the quarter in, in 27 and change, and I thought I'd be able to, to move back pretty quick, and it just didn't work out that way. Kyle, considering how the race set up, did did you think she raced okay? I think she raced okay. Um, you know, I thought she'd have been a lot better. Um, but, you know, the trip didn't work out, and she raced kind of flat. All right, thanks, thanks, Kyle. For driver Kyle Husted, this is Jeremy Day for the Illinois Harness Horseman Association, live at Maywood Park. Send it back up to you, Joe. All right, we got driver Brian Carpenter here, driver of number four, CC's Delight, the nine to five second choice. Uh, Brian, looked like you tried to leave out of there for some position off the gate. Tell us about that. Yeah, I tried to get her out of there, and uh, she just didn't didn't have it tonight as far as getting out of there. And uh, the other horses inside were leaving tough, so I tucked her in. Brian, did, did you get pulled on? It looked like Ryan was trying to fish some cover, uh, or did you just not want to be first up? Well, Ryan pulled, and he was wanting me to come, and I was angling out trying to get Oosting to come, but he wasn't coming, and first over would have been a death sentence, so I elected to stay in and hopefully shake loose. Brian, once you got some room up the passing lane, how, how'd she finish up? She finished strong. She finished good. 
All right. Thanks, Brian. For driver Brian Carpenter, this is Jeremy Day for the Illinois Harness Horseman Association live in Maywood Park. Send it back up to the track announcer, Joe Mazzone. Danny Bingo's out there. We're looking for the letter M. Letter M. Last call. Last chance for that. 